It makes me feel like I'm at the gym. Yeah, no, no, no. I think you're for the gym. You want some coffee? Oh, I'm fine. I thought you wanted some coffee. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's the difference. So you go, God, no wonder you got the other short guys that have careers that don't last very long, yeah. like Fraser. Just to get through that. Yeah. How would Rocky do it, champ? Yeah, Rocky would not last. It's, that's why I had to write it. <laughs> <laughs> the reality doesn't work. <laughs> no, I didn't. They told somebody named Anthony Solomon. Because, Anthony Solomon? Do you really? Yeah. He, he's been emailing me and he's saying, Who? Anthony Solomon. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I've issued an executive grant of clemency, a full pardon, posthumously, to John Arthur Jack Johnson. He was known as Jack Johnson, the first African-American heavyweight champion of the world, a truly great fighter, had a tough life. They say he violated the Mann Act, and he had a conviction that occurred during a period of tremendous racial tension in the United States more than a century ago. Johnson served 10 months in federal prison for what many view as a racially motivated injustice. He was treated very rough, very tough. Born in 1878 in Galveston, Texas, to former slaves, Johnson overcame difficult circumstances to reach the heights of boxing. He overcame these difficult circumstances to reach the heights of boxing and the boxing world and inspired generations with his tenacity and a very independent spirit. Congress has supported numerous resolutions calling for Johnson's pardon. Went through Congress numerous times. No president ever signed it, surprisingly. They thought it was going to be signed in the last administration, and that didn't happen. So that was very disappointing for a lot of people. I believe that Jack Johnson is a very worthy person to receive a full pardon, and in this case, a posthumous pardon. So I am taking this very righteous step, I believe, to correct a wrong that occurred in our history and to honor a truly legendary boxing champion, legendary athlete, and a person that, when people got to know him, they really liked him, and they really thought he was treated unfairly as a human being and unfairly as a champion. So uh, I'm going to be signing that, Don. It's about time. How's that for an autograph? Okay. Wow. Fabulous. Okay. That is my great. I want to thank you, Mr. President. It's incredible uh, that you've done this because it's one thing I've been so blessed with the uh, Rocky situation and playing that character. And actually, when I was writing it. I'm thinking about inspirations for this Apollo Creed, and that was Jack Johnson, his bigger than life, yeah. incredible character, and who was, you know, treated so unfairly. Take his prime was taken away, but somehow he still managed to persevere and kept a smile on his face, and he's truly an inspirational character. So this has been a long time coming. Of course, Linda, thank you very much. It was so amazing. Probably the, uh, how many, I don't know how many blood relatives are left, but you're like the one that really, really fought for yes. him, and, and I appreciate yes, that. Yeah. So it's an honor to take kind of a fictional character like Rocky and do something in the world of reality, and, and thank you for making that happen and punching Jack. <laughs> <laughs>